Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today's video is going to be building a fall capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna go ahead and cut away to the try-on bits and then I will go over all of the individual pieces that I have in my capsule wardrobe. Before we do all of that though, my name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist and the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman. I'm a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post three times a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So if my content resonates with you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you're a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you. Without further ado, let me dive into the try on bits and uh, I will be back afterward to go over all of the different garments. Caution. Carbon's hot. 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 You got the gear. They are your thoughts. Caution. Carbon's hot. Content's hot. You get to give me all you got.
to try on. I had so much fun putting together all of the outfits for this fall capsule wardrobe. So normally my approach for fall capsule wardrobes will vary and it just goes to show that while it may seem that it is very rigid and there are lots of rules that you need to follow in order to build a capsule wardrobe, that's absolutely not true. You can bend the rules as much as you want to suit your own needs, which is what I have done here. 
Now, if you have watched my channel for any period of time, you know that I am a big fan of setting up modules, which if you're not familiar with what a module is, essentially it is a bunch of mini capsule wardrobes that create one larger capsule wardrobe. Because I've got all this newness in my closet, I have been hauling like crazy. And there are a bunch of different pieces that I have that I have kept through all of those hauls that I am so excited to wear for the fall. I really, really wanted to focus on those pieces. So instead of going modular, I've decided to create just a full on seasonal capsule wardrobe. In my capsule wardrobes, I do not count shoes, belts, handbags, scarves, accessories. I don't count any of those as garments in the capsule. Why? Because I feel that all of those accessories are the finishing touch and can really define an outfit. As a matter of fact, I recently posted a video talking about my philosophy on accessorizing that I will have also for you in the cards here. Whenever you do build a capsule, it is always helpful if you have a few anchor pieces that you use to kind of build your wardrobe around. And I have three of those. So let me go ahead and talk with you about the first one and the main one and it is this satin top here in this beautiful shade of olive green. It's a very vibrant, saturated, yet muted green, and I absolutely love it. It is a button-down shirt. It is in satin. A button-down shirt is a great basic to have, but the fact that I have got it in a satin actually elevates it just a little bit. And of course, it is in this fabulous shade of green. And it was this piece that really is the cornerstone of my capsule wardrobe this season because I love, love, love this green so much. I just love this shirt in general. This is from Eloquy. I recently got this and I have worn it like crazy and I look forward to continue wearing it because it goes with everything. Olive green is kind of like one of those honorary neutrals that will go with a lot of different garments in your closet. The next piece that also helped to inspire this capsule wardrobe is this fantastic skirt that I got from Anthropology. Now on me, because I am petite, it fits me like a maxi skirt, but I absolutely love, love, love this skirt. I think this skirt is stunningly beautiful and it is very flowy, very twirly, which is right up my alley and I love the colorway. So in showing you here, it has a lovely combination of purples, oranges, reds, and green, as well as black. And this particular skirt, when I tried it on, I really, really loved it. And to me, it really spoke to me as being a fall colorway. It reminds me so much of the colors of the leaves as they are changing for the season. It reminds me of Halloween. It is just fantastic. And so I knew that this was also going to be a cornerstone of my fall capsule wardrobe. And I absolutely adore this skirt. I think that it is beautiful. It is going to be versatile. All I'm showing is wearing it as a skirt, but because it fits me so long, I think I could get away with it as a dress if I wore a belt. I don't know. We'll experiment with this skirt as time goes on, but this is also another one of my hero pieces or anchor pieces for my current fall capsule wardrobe. The last anchor piece that I have is this beautiful, beautiful dress that I recently thrifted uh, from Goodwill for one of my thrifted look for less challenges. And I am just beside myself with how much I love this dress. This dress is a Lauren Conrad dress. It is an XL. I think I paid maybe $9 for it, $10. Um, and it's beautiful. It has sheer sleeves. It does have a built-in liner in the dress. It's got, you know, a little tie with a ruffle collar. Um, it's got some ruffles on the sleeves and then it's got a tiered skirt. I am just amazed by how versatile and how much I actually love this dress. And so I knew when I bought it that this would be a great fall transitional dress. Of course, dark florals are totally appropriate for the fall. Not to mention the fact that my personal style has kind of taken a little bit of a turn to the dark side. I am enjoying black like crazy, as you can see. I love dark florals. They're one of my favorites. And once again, it has green in it. Starting out with sweaters, I have this merino wool sweat sweater in a beautiful, beautiful shade of plum that I got from Banana Republic 
three or four years ago maybe and it is still going strong and I love merino wool because it is a perfect transitional sweater material for uh, going from summer to fall to winter because merino wool keeps you warm but it also keeps you cool and dry and it just goes very well with a lot of different things. You can wear merino casually, you can wear it dressed up. And so I thought that this was an excellent addition to my capsule, especially because it ties in with the purples that are in the anthropology skirt. That's another point that I wanted to make. You don't have to run out and buy all of these things. Really, the purpose of this is to help inspire you to build your capsule wardrobe based off of what you've already got in your closet or if you've added some new things to your closet and kind of just want to start playing with them. These are just showing you how I go about building a seasonal capsule wardrobe and maybe you can get some tips and tricks from this video. The so. next sweater is one that I recently picked up from Walmart. It's an Eloqui Elements sweater. I absolutely love this rich burnt orange kind of sienna color. What I truly truly love about this sweater is that it is so incredibly soft. I would say it's a medium to heavy knit weight. I also really really enjoy the v-neck that this sweater has. It's a polo sweater is what they call it. And I like the fact that it has the collar. The collar it makes it look very smart. The V is nice and deep, which I like, but you can always either pin it or tape it shut. And I also really, really like the sleeves. I like the fact that it has puffy sleeves and it has a sizable cuff on the sleeve. This is going to be one of my go-to sweaters as the weather turns a little bit cooler. This next sweater is another Eloqui sweater. It is a great basic with a twist, no pun intended. It has this nice twisted crossover kind of thing going on down here at the bottom of the skirt. It is a cropped skirt, so it, me being petite, it actually hits me in exactly where I need it to hit. And it has shoulder pads, which I like. They do offer some structure in the shoulders, which if you are round, apple-shaped, or you need more, um, definition in your shoulders. This is absolutely a fantastic sweater. If you have broad shoulders and you want to emphasize those broad shoulders, this is the way to do it. It's a great basic that's a little bit different. The next sweater is another merino wool sweater that I got from Banana Republic. I got this one at the end of last winter. I have a lot of this color in my wardrobe and it picks up on the reds and oranges that are in the anthropology skirt. I think that this is going to be a great layering piece. I could wear a shirt underneath it as it gets colder, but it's in merino wool. So again, it's going to keep me cool but keep me warm as the season progresses but it's just your basic sweater it's a great basic to have in a really really poppy fiery red then i have this sweater here that i recently got from target i hauled it i think last week and i fell in love with it I decided to bring in a little bit of coolness into the capsule because I had a lot of warm colors and I wanted something a little bit cool. This is in a faded blue. It almost looks like distressed or, or faded denim to me. That's what it reminds me of. But what I really, really like about it is that it has these little puff sleeves. It's got some gathers here up at the top. So the sleeves puff up a little bit. I think that's very, very flattering. And then it has a lovely V-neck as well. I like the fact that it has the V-neck though because I can layer underneath it if I wanted to. It's gonna keep me nice and warm and it's got great style elements. This next sweater is probably going to be my most used, I think, this fall and winter. And it is this fantastic V-neck sweater vest that I got from Amazon. This has already given me great cost per wear. I have styled it and worn it a few different ways and I can see wearing it all kinds of ways as the season progresses. I love this little vest. I think that it is an incredibly versatile piece and if you are petite, it's cropped and so it's gonna hit you exactly where you need it to hit you. It's not gonna be too long. It's not gonna be too bunchy. It's very, very on trend, but yet a really classic piece I think that I will have in my wardrobe for quite some time. I paid $31 for it off of Amazon. I really do feel like I am going to get really intense cost per wear out of it because this is not only going to uh, be usable right now in the fall, it will be usable in the winter and it will be usable as I transition from winter to spring. This is a really versatile piece, one that I highly recommend that you take a look at, especially if you're petite. These are great, great sweater vests. I love it and I just like the way it looks on everything that I have worn it with. 
The next thing that I'm going to touch on is dresses. I've already shown you one. I actually only have two dresses in this capsule wardrobe and I've got this one that I am wearing right now. It's a fine knit dress from H&M. You've seen me style it pretty much as a cardigan, but it is actually a dress. And I today I am wearing it as a dress. It is a nice thin knit, but it makes a wonderful layering piece. I'm not a big fan of long cardigans that have sleeves, but I find that the sleeveless version is spot on for me. I absolutely love the versatility of it. I like the length of it, even as a dress. I just think that this is once again going to be one of those pieces in this season's capsule that I'm going to use again and again and again because since I have bought it, I have worn it several times as well as styled it a bunch of times. So this particular piece is a multitasker because it's a dress but it's a cardigan as well. So I got a twofer out of this one and I absolutely love it especially when I belt it up. But it even I even like it unbelted and nice and loose on days that I want to feel kind of casual and loungy. But if you need to dress it up, you just pop a belt on and zhuzh it a little bit and it's an excellent, excellent dress. Right, so what is a capsule wardrobe without a pair of black pants? And I pulled in my absolute favorite pair of black pants. And it is these pin tucked wide leg pants that I got from Ella Gui last winter. Right now they are sold out on this pant. I really hope that they reissue it because it is such a great wardrobe staple. Really super comfortable. I have worn these again and again and again. And again, all winter, spring, summer, and now going into fall. I've gotten such great cost per wear out of them. So I'm really, really hoping that Eloqui reissues them this winter because I'm probably going to pick up another pair just to be on the safe side. And then of course, I bought them in multiples and I got the pair of white pants. And I feel that every capsule wardrobe for fall has to have a pair of white pants. A lot of people will follow the old school rule of white is only during spring and summer and up through Labor Day. I disagree with that rule. I think it is it is rubbish. I absolutely love having a white pair of pants during the fall and winter because it adds a really bright neutral to the mix and gives you a lot of versatility in your capsule wardrobes. One of the more fun pieces that I have in this capsule wardrobe are these pair of faux leather pants that I got from Target. $20, I couldn't believe the price point. Um, they are elastic waist. I had been commiserating that I wish that they were a buckle waist, but actually the elastic waist is fine. Now I have a pair of faux leather joggers but a girl sometimes just wants a pair of pants. She doesn't want to have to do the jogger thing. They fit me perfectly in size and length. Um, I think if you're like 5'4 and over, you can consider these a pair of crop pants. If you are petite like me, 5'3 and under, these are going to be a perfect pair of pants for you. I am 5 feet tall, by the way, and they fit perfectly. Surprise, surprise. I am including a pair of jeans in the fall capsule. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know that I don't wear denim because it is very uncomfortable. I had a pretty intense surgery on my belly and jeans have not been very comfortable for me until I came across this pair. And I'm gonna be honest, I forgot that I had them. I got them during the summer. These are from Eloqui. They're a pair of wide leg, dark wash jeans. I may have to bring up the hem a little bit. They do drag a tiny bit, but I might overlook it. I don't know yet. These are a great and comfortable pair of jeans. They are very high-waisted, so they hit me right here. Beyond all of the scarring that I have and they're super, super stretchy and comfortable. And so I'm so excited that I can finally wear jeans again. And uh, I have pulled these in and I love them. I think that they're great. And they did have a sash with them, but I hated it. So I took it off. <laughs> I'm gonna use my own belt with these, but they are a buckle, you know, they have a zipper. I'm super excited to finally be including a pair of jeans in my capsule wardrobe once again. The next skirt that I have is this beautiful number that I got from Boohoo. I got this well over a year ago. I pulled this out of my closet because I do have this orangey red and I also have a black and ivory running through my capsule. So I thought that this would be an excellent piece to bring in that would bring some versatility, would bring some sheen and shine in addition to the shirts that I have that are in satin. So I love playing with finishes and I think that it's perfectly 
acceptable to wear something like this even to the office. Now, moving on to the shirts category. Every capsule wardrobe I think needs a basic white shirt. I had a gap for this in my closet so I recently picked this up from Mango. It's got a little bit of stretch but it is a very crisp white shirt and um, incredibly versatile. It does have some darting on it and it is in Mango Plus size so that's pretty awesome as well. I think that this is a workhorse in my wardrobe, in anyone's wardrobe. It will make dressing easy on those days when I either can't figure out what to wear, I'm not motivated, or I'm in a hurry. This is going to come in really handy because it goes with everything. It's going to look fantastic no matter what I do with it. And uh, I especially love layering it under that vest from Amazon, but I think it's a great staple to have. The next top that I have is this beautiful number that I got from Walmart. It's Sofia Jeans by Sofia Vergara. It's a fantastic, fantastic top to wear either casually or dressed up for work. What I like about it is I love, love, love this rich red I have been into red lipsticks and red everything, this deep, deep red, because it's fall. <laughs> and I tend to gravitate to this color during the fall. But what I also like about it is that it has this really lovely wine shade mixed in. So they're playing with tones here. And it's got a really nice kind of like peachy beige kind of outline on the shirt. It comes in other colorways, but this was the one that really caught my eye because of the red. It has a v-neck and then it's got a sheared or a smocked waistline and a peplum bottom. Next, I have this beautiful satin top in a cream color from H&M. It's a button down, but it is a v-neck at the same time. So totally love that. I love me a great v-neck and I love the fact that it is in, a, in an ivory satin. It's going to go with everything in the capsule and um, I can wear this out if I'm going like on a date or something like that. It dresses up and dresses down wonderfully. So. Next we have this crinkled satin top that I recently got from Cabby and it looks very basic but it's not. It's kind of an elevated basic. It is an ivory shell but what I like about it is that it has this pleated collar that kind of it's like a stand-up collar almost and uh, I love this pleating I think it is a lovely lovely detail on something that is considered a wardrobe basic um, so it is my not so basic basic top what I also like about it is that while it is an ivory it is a slightly different ivory than this shirt here this has more yellow this has a touch of gray in it or taupe in it and it leans a little bit cooler than warmer and so i liked bringing that cool element in because it's it's a little bit unexpected in an otherwise very warm capsule wardrobe so then i had to add a little bit of fun to the capsule so i included this t-shirt that i recently got from walmart it's got old school star wars graphic and uh, I just thought it was really fun to bring it in. Plus it's in a gray, so you're bringing in more of those cool tones. However, it does have the orange, you know, the warm orange tones in it, and it's got a little bit of the green tones in it. So it works really well in the capsule with the colorway that I have selected for this capsule. And uh, yeah, it's very nostalgic, a lot of fun. I love this shirt, I do. And I'm so excited to have it in my capsule wardrobe. I can't wait to play around with it. The last two pieces that I have in my capsule wardrobe are blazers. And and I have to have at least one blazer in a capsule wardrobe because this is what I wear as outerwear in the fall season when it's not quite cold enough, you know, to wear a coat, but you want to be warm. So blazers are the way to go. I have this fantastic fitted blazer in a pale, cool toned gray that I recently picked up from H&M. Um, this goes in and out of stock with due reason because it fits wonderfully. This is a 2X, it fits my arms and I love that. And it's not overly heavy, but it does have a very nice lining. It does have a really lovely drape. And I like the fact that it is in a cooler toned gray. So I'm adding again, that cool tone to the wardrobe. But I also have a heavier blazer. This is from Marie Potois. And I got this from Nordstrom um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, um, it's a double breasted blazer, but I wear it open and I like the way it fits me. It hits at exactly the right spot uh, for my height. It's Ponty knit, which is fantastic. It's going to keep its shape. It also helps to compress things in. It does have substantial weight to it, so it is going to be actually really great for outerwear. 
um, until the weather gets too cold for it. So those are all of the pieces that I have in my fall capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna leave you with a video right here. It is my modules video in case you are interested in the modular approach. So make sure to check it out so that you can get a different perspective on how to build a capsule wardrobe. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.